Now in less than 10 days, it will be out with the snake and in with the year of the horse. This elegant animal has, uh, through the ages, played a significant role in society, politics and the economy, and much of it has been immortalized through stamps. There are, for example, stamps of famous horses like this one, Marengo, the horse belonging to Napoleon Bonaparte, or Persephilus, which belonged to Alexander the Great. The very first stamp showing a horse is probably this one, printed in 1869. There's a lot you can learn from stamps as well. And to tell us about this is Johnny Lois, a man who has, oh, who owns a few hundred stamps bearing images of horses. Well, a few thousand, I think. That's just the tip of the iceberg. He has more mm. than 800,000 stamps to his name. Good morning, Johnny. Thank you so much for coming in and also bringing in your horse on stamps. This is just yes. one of uh, many collections that you've got, got here. Yeah. Um, now, tell us about this world's first ever horse stamp. I understand you have that in your collection. Is yes. that correct? Yeah. What do you know about it? I think this is the first stamps on animals and which produced in which produced in uh, 1869. Okay. Yeah, and the price is not that expensive. Okay. It's only uh, 350 US dollars. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. And that's the most expensive stamp that you've got in your collection, isn't no, it? That no, that is the most expensive Horse. on horses. Horse stamps, yes. sorry. Yes, well, the difference. most expensive can be a million dollars <laughs> per stamp. Okay, oh, okay. Yes. Yes. so Let's get that that's, straight. that's quite a big high value there. <gasps> yes. In, yeah. your in your collection, then, how was the biggest value of stamp in your collection that you have? Um, $10,000. Um, oh. that, that is, uh, of course, the stamps with error, all this and that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the errors, you mean they're unique? There's like no other yeah. stamp like it? No, the error means uh, misprinting okay. and oh, okay. very rare in this world very rare. but still um, available. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about this collection of horse stamps that you've got that there yeah. and how do you go about collecting them? Do you actually have to go out and seek them and buy them? Yes. Um, if uh, I need it in the last minute I have to buy it from eBay. eBay. I, and also I used to correspondence with all my friends throughout the world. Mm -hmm. I have I, all friends throughout the world and we used to correspondence and we need to exchange so again what what i need then they will send it to me okay. and then when they need certain stamps i will send it to them that is how i get the stamps and some i may i can buy from the local stamps fair yeah and uh, of, of course when you are talking about the horse you have to start from the the, the actual horse the is actually horse. is a very small horse. Um. It's like a dog size. Right. Yeah? Okay. So again, horse, horses can be seen in uh, more than 50,000 50, years ago. Okay. You can see them in the those cave painting in Spain yeah. and in France. Okay. Yeah? Well, I think we've got a couple of close-ups that we can actually put up on the screen so you don't have to flick through that because I think it's getting the reflection. <laughs> yeah. um, you have a fair few horse stamps from countries such as Canada and Greece. Why is that? Why, why are horse stamps popular yeah, from Canada uh, you and Greece? You see, Greece is... Uh, I think in, in this world, horses play an important role in all the battles. So I think Greece they have many battles. Horse is very important. And again, if you notice, the most famous is a Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. where the, that, that's the most uh, famous Greek horse. Yeah. A lot of mythology there. Yes. And also, horses uh, that make it to stamps are the famous ones that belong to heroes. Can you tell us about yes. those? The, the hero means... Um, yeah. Hero is uh, something like World, fa uh, world famous hero Napoleon. Yes, we, um, we mentioned a few of them before. Yes, yeah. I mean uh, Nelson. Yeah, and uh, all all these uh, fam famous hero. Yes. Yes, yeah. this is Marengo. Uh, and, and also Bonaparte this Alexander the Great. Yeah. Yes. And also there are a few. Most of the hero actually are riding horses. Yeah. Yes. On, on, but of course, on, only few famous horses in this world. Yeah. Okay. What about these days, modern day horse stamps? I understand that the association we've got here are people that are born in the year of the horse yes. appear on stamps too, right? Um, unfortunately, in Singapore, we don't have people on, yeah. on the stamps. Yeah? But in, in overseas, there are few famous people. For example, uh, Nelson Mandela yes. and and Neil Armstrong, Neil Armstrong and there are few people famous one
Yeah. They always appeared on the stamps. Okay. So how long have you been collecting stamps for then? I presume this ever since you were young, you must have got into this and found them fascinating. Uh, I've been collecting stamps for more than 30 over years. Okay. Yes. okay. And you were talking earlier about how, you know, to get hold of these stamps, you're, you're going on eBay to find them or you're yes. reaching out to sort of your network of other fellow stamp collectors. Are you finding it like, because, um, you know, the Postal Service is ha having huge problems now with, you know, email has come online and there are generations of people that, that you know, don't even, uh, aren't familiar with even Correct, the use yeah. of stamps. Are you finding that there's a smaller and smaller pool of people that are collecting stamps uh, for historical purposes like yourself? Um, you see, uh, nowadays they try to encourage children to collect stamps because every stamps can tell a lot of things. So again, uh, if you give them one stamps, they will find out more more information on that stamps. Yeah. So again, this is how I get all my information. Just for one stamps, you, I can get a lot of information. information a lot of so history. again, this is a very good educational uh, piece okay. for children. Do you yeah. collect first day covers? Yes, I collect first day covers. Okay, because I understand, well, with the Lunar New Year, there'd be a lot of horse-themed ones coming out yes. in this region, in Asia. Yeah. Which ones would you be looking out for? For the first day covers? Yeah. Um, I think when we are collecting um, stamps, we will collect um, first day covers from all the countries. Okay. Because uh, this, that this is to year? complete our collection. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you don't want to miss out on any of them? No, <laughs> yes. We, we try to to get as much as possible. Oh, yeah, okay. because um, in in fact, all my this collection will, will be sent to overseas for exhibition mm -hmm. in Indonesia and in England, mm -hmm. in Leicester. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and I see that you're very organized here. The way that you've presented your stamp, doesn't look like my stamp collection when I was a <coughs> kid no, at no, all. Yes. And you've got a bit of history written with each of the stamps that right. you display. How do you actually categorize all your stamps? Is it by theme is it by country yes. I mean, or uh, is it by era no uh, when you are writing all this you have, you have to write it by theme means uh, horses on military horses mm. on history yes, horses, so you might start with a big genre yes. and then in, cut it down in to in fact small horses ah. a, appeared yes. on many things on arts on painting yes. on um, you, okay. you name it, horses okay. will be present there. Okay, yeah. well, thank you for bringing that yeah. uh, little bit of your collection in to show us this morning. Thank you. Yeah, actually, could you pass that over? I wanna have a, <laughs> I'll have a look at that while we uh, wrap up the show. That was uh, Johnny Lois uh, talking to us about his collection of stamps, in particular, the ones bearing images of horses. Yeah, timely discussion now that the Year of the Horse is bearing down on us uh, in just over a week's time. If you want to know more about horses and their place in the philatelic history, there's an upcoming exhibition you can check out at the Singapore Philatelic Museum. If you happen to be in Singapore, it's called Horses for Courses. Or if you're not in Singapore, you can also visit the website um, that's showing on your screen right now.